Hello and welcome back. This is the third video of my GDevelop visual novel tutorial. If you haven't watched the first and the second video yet, you should, because none of the things that I'm going to be telling you here will make sense otherwise. So, in this video, I'll show you how to change the image and names of your characters. First of all, I need you to check the male character object first. Make sure the two images that I gave you are placed as two separate animations. Let's name the first one default and the second one confused. Now go to the event sheet. Oh yeah, before we begin, let's clean things up a bit. I'll make a new folder and place these events on their own folders. First one is the dialog controls. And the second one is options controls. Look at that, it looks clean and tidy now, it's so much better. Anyway, we'll go back to the dialog data again, edit with yarn. Let's start by replacing all these placeholder dialogs. Alright, I've written some quick little dialogues and named the characters Billy and Lily. I've also changed the dialogues for the two options that we've previously made. Now we'll click on this button to add a new command, or you can just type the symbols manually if you want, like this. We're gonna type the character name inside this command. So first one is gonna be Lily. Second one is Billy. And we just keep changing this depending on who's talking. Do the same for the other passages as well. Uh, in the case of a character talking twice in a row, like right here for example, you don't have to write the name twice. Next, we'll add a new event, condition, command is called. We'll enter the name Billy. Add action, click on the name txt, bb code text, set to Billy. Don't forget the double quotes. You can also use tags here if you want. For example, I'll make it bold and then give him the color blue. But instead of writing the word, I'll go to Google, hex color. Adjust the color however you want. Copy this code right here, return to gdevelop and paste that hex code. Let's make a duplicate of this event. Change the command to Lily. And the name txt to Lily and give it her own color. If we preview the game now, there you go. Let's go through this dialogue real quick, just to make sure everything's working. Okay, now changing the image, we'll pretty much use the same function as the name for this. So basically, we'll need to edit the dialogue data again. Let's make a new comment called Billy Confused and Billy Default. Make sure you don't put space between them. I don't know why, but the command wouldn't work if you have space in them. Now save. Make two new events with the command called condition. One for the Billy default command. The other one is for the Billy confused command. Action. 
click the object, change the animation. You can change it by number or name. If we go back to the scene, we can see that the default image animation is number 0 while the confused image is number 1. I'll use the change by number for this. Set to value 0. Then change this one to 1. Preview the game. And we'll see that everything was as intended. Now let's just organize our events with folders and labels. Now, I can finally say that this visual novel tutorial series is done. You've learned all the basic things that you need to know to make a visual novel with GDevelop. But if you want to add a little bit more flair into your game, specifically with the images, you can check out this video right here where I teach you how to make simple animations using the twin behavior.